may I add, backed up by a central bank digital currency, living in a cashless society, and now she wants the whole thing to go global. Can you imagine, on this ID card will be not just your date of birth, your gender, your eye color, your height, your approximate weight, there will be your vaccine status, your financial status, and goodness knows what else will be on that card. Building blocks for a globally coordinated and comprehensive policy and regulatory framework for... So you see what's going to happen with these people here on, on the drugs? They've already mentioned it. On the cryptocurrency, you won't be able to buy pornographic or freaking hard drugs. So we got a bad overdose here. It's been here for a long time. If the cop car shows up, there's a, a death here. And why I think it's an overdose is because, first of all, the fire truck showed up. Then an ambulance there. Then another fire truck. And then the advanced support. All in that building. They've been in there for over half an hour maybe almost an hour or so it's not looking good not looking good just like our filthy streets could you imagine you know if if some of us the few of us that talked back didn't talk back about the tents we'd still be suffering we'd be suffering in a hellhole not to mention that we are suffering every day that we wake up in here you cannot live in a neighborhood like this without suffering so that's why we all qualify for euthanization. And, oh, euthanization is more deadly by far than any of this shit on the street. Yeah, euthanization kills far more than hard drugs. Shame on you, Canada.